this ride. Right now we're following breaking news in the New York Attorney General's civil lawsuit against Donald Trump and his family business in New York. A judge finding Trump and his adult sons liable for fraud. CNN's Kara Scannell is joining us. She's in New York. Kara, tell us about this ruling and what it means for Trump and his business. Well, this it involves the lawsuit that the New York Attorney General brought against Trump, his adult sons, alleging... George, good morning to you. The civil case here is the first in a year of courtroom battles that could determine former President Trump's future, and the first round brings a resounding defeat. This morning, former President Trump is vowing to appeal a ruling by a judge in New York that found he committed years of financial fraud, inflating his net worth by as much as $2.2 billion. The judge determined the conduct so... Eventually... A judge ruled Tuesday that Donald Trump committed fraud for years while building the real estate empire that catapulted him to fame and the White House. And he ordered some of the former president's companies removed from his control and dissolved. Preach! This is a load of barnacles. I heard that! Donald Trump's business empire is in jeopardy after a judge ruled he committed fraud by inflating the value of his assets. Now Trump's lawyers are pushing for answers in court about whether the former president could lose some of his most prized properties, including the famous Trump Tower. CNN's Bryn Gingras is following the story for us. So walk us through these new developments, Bryn. Yeah, Pam, so there was... Much, much, much later... New York State judge has ruled former President Trump committed fraud while building his real estate empire. The ruling was made in a civil lawsuit brought by New York's attorney general. The judge found the former president and his company overvalued assets on paperwork used in making deals. The decision comes days before the start of a non-jury trial in that case. This is how legends are born.